Hi folks, let's have a little look at these brackets after two days. Let's see what they look like. Right, but if you watched my last Reliant Regal video, you know that I've actually put the hinges, the door hinges to the Reliant Regal in a little bucket of distilled white malt vinegar. Now, I haven't actually touched these or agitated these whatsoever. If you remember, it went in and it was all clear and everything was settled. Let me show you what it looks like now. I've not stirred this up, touched it or anything, so let's have a look. Well, as you can see there, the waters are very, very sort of dirty and there's loads of rust and stuff that's sitting at the bottom there. And as I say, I've not actually agitated any of this and it's still bubbling away there. It's been two days, so I'm gonna get one of the hinges out now and just have a look uh, to see what sort of state it's in. As you remember, I, I did start sandblasting one of the hinges and then my sandblaster, uh, my compressor tripped out, so I left it at that. So everything else has been put in painted still and all I've done is clean around the, the central pins, which is a bit I want lubricated. All of these were very, very stiff, so let's see if they've loosened off. I think this was the one I mostly sandblasted. Wow, that's quite clean actually. I think with these you've got to wipe the residue off these, so I'm going to get a bit of cloth and wipe the residue off. I don't know whether these have been loosened up yet, let's have a look. They're still very tight. So I might have to put that in the vise just to loosen it off. Let me dry it off first, just so I don't stink of vinegar. And we'll have a little look around it first. As I say, two, about 48 hours, two days I suppose it's been in there. And obviously where it's been painted, it's not removed any of the paint whatsoever. But that was to be expected, I suppose. But as you can see from the outside, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Now the bit I really want to get to is inside this pin area there. As you can see, there's no air gaps there, so probably no liquids travelled in between that. So um, I'm going to have to try and move it in and out. So let's put it in the vise and give it a bit of a lever. Just work it backwards and forwards. Very, very tight, as you can see. Or whether to put some WD-40 on it while I'm here. Maybe that will get in now, I don't know. But obviously the reason why I was doing this initially was to get some vinegar solution up on the pin. But again, we may have to get it working first. To which fact it's actually loosening up, so. be a matter of just persevering like this and then once things do loosen up put it back in the vinegar and hopefully remove a lot of the rust hopefully so I don't know as you can see look I can do it by hand now with one hand so that's definitely done something now so maybe a lot of this could have been friction on this actual bush in here for example and not actually the pin so by just working it back to forwards like this and lubricating it here it could be the actual sides of the pins that was uh, causing the friction. Because I, I doubt if I've actually got any fluid to go inside that pin, to be honest with you. So that's not looking too bad at the moment. As you can see, look. So a bit of perseverance with that, maybe. And do the same to the rest of them. As you can see, look, we've definitely moved that now. We couldn't do that before. So I'm just going to get these out. Just give them all a squirt and see if I can free them all off. And I'll see you in a minute. Right, so let's get one of the other ones out, the ones that had all the corrosion on, which I didn't actually rub down at all, so just to see what's happened with these. Right, okay, let's get the over. Let's get you over here. Now there's a big chunk of rust on there, but as I rub it, look, it's just falling off. Look, hey, look at that. Look, but a final wire brush obviously will really do a good job on that. Well, let's take a blade for example, and look. Yeah, look at that, look. Look at that, absolutely comes off a tree, look. Yeah. So the rust is totally gone. And that's just vinegar. None of these expensive products. I think even the paint's loosened off to a certain extent. Look. That's, well, that's quite amazing, actually. For such a low-priced item, to be able to do that in such a short time I know someone's mentioned molasses as well water and molasses yeah I'm aware of that as well but apparently that takes quite a long time to uh, to do so let's get a blade again look the back of this one's quite dirty look 
or quite rusty should I say. So let's see what happens here. Yeah look at that look. That's not too bad is it. And don't forget you could also leave this in for a lot longer. But look. Yeah look at that look. Now that's not bad is it. That's amazing look. And you're back to bare metal which is like factory metal there so there you go, there's the painted tech. Yeah, the paint's just falling off as well, look there, look. Bit of rust around that side, look. The blade does quite a good job. Well, looking at that, vinegar's definitely got its place in rust removal, something which I'll be using a lot more in the future. Now, things, for example, like bolts and all that, you know, you, you can find bolts which are, all the threads are corroded up and stuff like that. Very hard to clean that sort of stuff. For example, I've got some old Reliant bolts down here from the Reliant Regal and stuff which normally as I say you, you throw away things like old springs and stuff like that let's have a look here look this sort of thing which has been left laying about and water's obviously got to it but these sort of threads you're never going to sort of clean them up properly Try, or you can do it but I mean but doing it by hand is going to take a long time so just throw them in there so all that sort of stuff, I've got literally a whole box of screws and stuff there from the Reliant Regal, as you can probably see there. And uh, I'm just going to drop all that in there and clean it up that way. Anyway, now I've seen that, I'm very happy with that. I'm just going to carry on now, get them hinges out, try and free them up a bit, and then we'll go to the next stage. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay then, so what I've done now is, again, I've just literally just cleaned with these with with the vinegar and also a little wire brush and that really does sort of get everything out of the joints and as you can see there look absolutely fantastic now i've not got inside here it's not touched all this paint but as you can see now the hinges are, are lovely and free now and what i've found out is, is you can probably see this pin on this side here and what happens is is that this is where it actually gets stuck up not in the actual main pin shaft along there it's actually around there because if you can probably see that can you see that the center shaft is now rotating well that was very very tight and as you go backwards and forwards backwards and forwards with this like this you keep squirting wd-40 in there and they will come free like this and you can see exactly what i mean by this one here look how free this one is now look you can flick that one with your finger look and all i've done is just gone backwards and forwards on that pin give it a wipe off just redounce it with WD-40 or some other spray. And then literally just go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And this is the sort of thing you do when your pliers seize up as well. And it frees your pliers up. And as you can see the uh, rust there lifting out of that joint there. Can you see that? Look. And that's all I've done. And I'll just persevere with this. As, and as you can see how free that is now. Look, I'll do it with one finger, even my little finger. Look. And they're all like that now. Although the paint is still on the main body, I'm not too worried about this. So once you get it to this sort of stage, and as you can see, every other one is cleaned up just as well with just that vinegar solution and agitation with a wire brush. I did do it with a knife as you saw, but that, this has worked out even better. And in all cases, you can see that pin rotate. If I just turn that, the pin rotates. So that's the bits that seizes up, not inside here, what I thought initially. So basically, now I've got them all to this stage and that pin's freed up and it's a lot looser now. Now I'm going to dunk them back in and leave them in there. And now, as I say, because we've got a bit of space around that actual pin now, I'm going to leave these in there for another 24, 48 hours. And that should kill all that rust that you can see it's bringing up to the surface when I lubricate it like that. So that's what I'm going to do now. But as I say, this actually works very, very well, as you can see. And someone mentioned uh, some other product. Uh, I can't remember what it was now. It's in the comment section now. That works very well as well, whatever it was, but it's also 10 times dearer than vinegar. So uh, molasses is good for a long period of time if you're leaving parts to soak in there. Vinegar, this is just white vinegar. This works absolutely superb for cleaning stuff and it's gonna be ideal for cleaning things up like these nuts and bolts and stuff like that. Just chuck them in there. Anyway, that's enough of this today. I thought I'd just show you an update on how I've cleaned these up and hopefully if you've never tried it, get yourself some and if you've got a couple of days to wait, just bung your nuts and bolts in or anything really and that will eat the rust just like I've shown you. Anyway, thanks very much. See you in the next video and until then, bye for now. <laughs>